Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shai, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shai, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shai. O praise unto Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, Wa Aro Kakadash, double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone, on the ship of Zippy, pushing this truth in sincerity for the four corners of the earth. So, this is going to be a video going into um the scriptures and are uh, basically showing you that this is a wicked society. And this is a society that upholds uh, wickedness, okay? Uh, um, we're talking about wickedness. I'm not talking about your feelings got hurt. I'm talking about, um, I'm talking about the law put statutes out there um, that, he, you know, or laws so you can understand to be followed. And this society does not uphold those laws, but rather upholds what's known as what's politically correct. And uh, this is going to be more of a rant uh, than anything and going into the scriptures to show you that generally speaking, politically, what's considered politically correct, okay, is actually evil in the sight of the most high. So you start from the top, okay, you go into the LGBT, okay, and now that's politically promoted, okay, uh, throughout the four corners of the earth and uh, certain legislations are passed. To have it to wear what? That's legalized. Well, you're going to find out through the scriptures, all right, that that's not only just evil and wicked, but it's punishable by death, okay? When you go into the Bible and you go into the book of Leviticus, um, uh, the 20th chapter, okay, the 13th verse, you find out that a man with a man or a woman with a woman, that's an abomination in the sight of the Most High. And both of them were supposed to be put to death. See, that's why you got a great evil coming onto the earth. All right. You got a whole bunch of people out there talking about if there's a God that exists, why is people dying? Well, that's because there is a God that exists and he's judging you for the evil that you do. Your politically correct evil that you do is evil in the sight of the Lord. All right. If any man, Leviticus 20 and 13, if any man... Okay, that's cool. I thought that was a message coming in. If any man lie with mankind as he lies with a woman, both of them are committing an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be uh, uh, upon him. Uh, does this go into the woman? Okay, if a man lie with a beast, okay, if a, if a, if a woman approaches onto a beast like uh, and lie down there too, that shall kill the woman and the beast and they shall be surely put to death. All right, the bestiality. Okay, uh, 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 the homosexuality, the lesbianism, all right, that's all things that's what, that's upheld within the society. And they, according to their laws, this is allowed. According to their so-called constitution, according to their so-called doctrine, these are things that are correct on a political uh, sphere. But this is why the law's got a great judgment coming out here, because it is not allowed, all right, but rather it is an abomination in the sight of the Lord. And as a result, you've got these missiles that's going to come, all right, and destroy and put things to balance. See, the Yahweh Shemin al is all about balance, okay? He's the greatest mathematician. The mathematicians do balance, okay? You go into science, what are you doing? You're balancing, all right? Why does that, why does that apple fall, the, fall from the tree? To balance out stuff, okay? To, to balance out shit, okay? Why does, why does water come down from the, from the hill? To balance out stuff. Okay, so why why does why is if it, why is it that if there is a god that people get cancer, that people have have a, 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 a terminal diseases? Okay, that they drop dead in the most horrific ways. Why is it that you're watching this video and you know within your life that there's they stuff that's jacked up? Okay, because there is a god and he is a judge uh, uh, that balances out. You did wickedness. Wickedness is equal to death. Matter of fact, if I go into into the scriptures. All right, the wages of sin, hopefully it's in, the, it, it, it's in the standard Bible. I forget where the scripture is, and it's not in the, uh, um, it's in, not in the Apocrypha. It should pop up, right? The book of Romans, the sixth chapter on the 23rd verse, for the wages of sin is death, okay? The wages of sin is death, but let's go into the other side of it because we got to do the balance ourselves, all right? But the gift of the Most High is the eternal life through Yahweh Shai Mashiach. So you got Jakes out there that done all kind of wickedness, well, through the mercy of Yahweh about Shimei al Shai, should they believe on him with all sincerity, they was going to get mercy, should they be of the elect. 
and ultimately all of Israel. Because when you go into the book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter, all of Israel was going to make it. All right. And that goes via a process called reincarnation, where the elect 144,000 in their children and their, you know, their circle, so to speak, that the Most High is going to have mercy on. All right. They're going to make it into the kingdom. But see, a whole bunch of Israelites, all right, you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, and the rest of the world are going to be destroyed by the nuclear fire that's going to rain down as a result of this World War Three that's uh, 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 being prepped up between Trump and, uh, uh, and uh, um, Putin. OK, see, they're trying to set up their new world order, but what they don't realize is they're actually setting up the new world order of your Habashim al Shai. So through the, the world war coming about, you was going to need the, the, the necessity. All right. There was going to be a, a necessity to facilitate a salvation. And that salvation is going to be for who? It's going to be for the Israelites, man. OK, the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans and all of our scattered children. All right, brothers and sisters, aunties and uncles that are scattered amidst all of them different nations that look like Moabites, Ammonites, Jap uh, you know, they look Chinese, uh, uh, Japanese, they look like they're, they're Muslims, okay, but they're actually Jakes, okay? So going back onto the point of the video, I was going to pull out the book of Amos, the ninth chapter on the eighth verse. It says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord power upon the sinful kingdom for all, the, all them abominations that they do, the heavy taxes that they put upon the people, all right? Uh, I, I mentioned the homosexuality, all right, all of the um, the the, oh, uh, um, uh, the the poisoning of the earth. The scripture says within the book of Isaiah, the twenty fourth chapter, I believe it's in the twenty fourth chapter, that the Lord was going to destroy them that destroyed the earth. Look at the earth right now. This ain't how the earth is supposed to be. The earth is supposed to be a paradise. You go into the history, you find out. Um, look at um, look at the history. What the history says about America. America is supposed to be a paradise, man. And you go to where it's all jacked up, it's all deserted, all right, and it looks horrible. You look at the ocean, the ocean's supposed to be just overflowing with life, all right. You go into the fish market, the fish is all overpriced because there ain't no fish left because you got all kind of poisons and pollution within the ocean. That's because the man of sin is the one that's ruling right now, okay. That's because the man that is the devil that the scripture speaks of, not the, 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 the spiritual demon, Okay, I'm talking about the actual uh, physical encounter part of Satan, all right, on the, on this earth, all right, in the flesh, Satan in the flesh. See, we are gods in the flesh, and people going to take that statement, they're going to run away with it and go crazy. But yeah, that is the truth. We are the gods on the earth. That's what the scripture says. All right, you go into the book of Psalms, even your house, I quoted it, does not your scripture say that you are gods? So the most side made it to where we are the princes with the power. That's what it means to be a prince with the power. If you're a prince with the power, what does that mean? Would it translate the word power? What does that mean? It means it goes translates into the word God. Does it not? Well, we've got the word God over here. Okay, so that's Yahweh. So like it. Uh, uh, but it, other, it's of course, because it's in all caps. But if it was in lower cases, you go into that word, it goes into uh, 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 Allah or Allah which is the powers of God or the gods. So if you're a prince with the power, you're the prince with, the, with God, you're what? You're a son of God. What's a son of a God? Is a God. <laughs> so where they, where they, but the, the people that are ruling the earth right now, they're the seed of the serpent, the devil. Okay? That's why the earth is like a fucking hell right now. And that's where hell is played out. Hell was played out upon earth. So if the devil's in rulership, well, guess what? It's got, you know, loosely, loosely, you know, I'm going loose with that statement. But it's going to be like a hell on earth, man. Okay, behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom. And I will destroy it from off the face thereof. Saving utterly, I will not destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. So that's who's going to have the mercy, man. So all of this political correctness is wickedness in the sight of the Most unless it upholds the laws of the Lord. But see, they will never do that. Okay, which also goes to, by deduction, okay, by simple deduction, by simple factor of deduction, we can say that the Bible is polit politically incorrect. <laughs> all right? So guess what they're going to do? They're going to remove the Bible from the shelves when the time comes. All right. If you uphold any kind of Bible law, they're going to look at you like a madman. All right. You go into your workplace these days. People look at you like you're crazy if you ain't sleeping with someone's wife. Now I know that from personal experience, man. They look at you like you're a madman. All right. If you if you ain't sleeping with someone's wife, because that's how people get down. But when you go into the scriptures right now, what does the scripture say? The scripture says you ain't supposed to be committing adultery. That's another major thing within this society. Oh, another thing, you go into your so-called job, you're talking about, you know, Christmas is actually Saturnalia, all right, it's actually a pagan, pagan 
a, a festival, they're going to look you look at you like you're a madman. OK, but that's what's upheld within this society. That's what the policies, the politics deem as being correct. But it's incorrect. It's wicked in the sight of Yahweh Hashem and as a, as a result, this place is going to be destroyed by the nuclear fire that's going to rain down upon this place as a result of World War Three, and as a result of the fire and the judgment of the Lord's Son Yahweh Shai, is going, which, whom the world calls Jesus, is going to rain down upon this place. Okay, so hopefully that was of edification. With that, I'm say, oh praise unto Yahweh Hashem and Hashai, or Rakhakadash, double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone, honors your brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.